similarity finishes. <laughs> now these cliffs aren't made of chalk, of course, they're made of a volcanic rock, which is mainly pumice. Uh, the source of debris from volcanic activity, which was taking place here about 14 million years ago. You see how Hongo swells up at this point. No, there's not a great deal of water here. <laughs> yeah, these fish, uh, people, we actually do feed fish outside the reserve. We usually feed them in the reserve, but we don't. Uh, of course, the amount of oxygen content of the water is increased because of the kelp they provide, pretty much like our underwater trees. get a two meter swell coming around each corner of this and it gets really exciting. <laughs> Not everybody's cup of tea like that. Right? two legal fish here too. Yeah, right. When, when the food's out there and they're all going after it, it looks really good. Yeah, 
some of the bigger, older fish, um, especially those with a ramped up forehead, which are the older males. Yeah. You'll see that there's scars and damage to the top of their heads. Yeah. And this is from what the snapper, when they're dealing with kinna, will actually turn on their side and they'll actually bump kinna off rocks so that they float momentarily. And then they'll just grab them and crush them. What's that? So how big do they get? Uh, um, some of them will actually change sex to redress that imbalance. Sort of self-regulating sort of population. <coughs> well, we have had people walking down the track and climbing down the slip face itself. So of course the archway is world famous, it actually appeared in the second of the Narnia movies, Prince Caspian. So part of the chronicles of Narnia that were filmed here back in 2007, 2008. Have you seen the movie? Yep. No? Yep, I've seen it. Every night. <laughs> I always wonder what they paid that guy out. Probably thousands, probably thousands. Who knows? Mm -hmm. 